Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, AKA The Limey. And for the last few weeks, I've been in my office and I've been working hard at streaming. Playing a lot of Destiny 2 since its launch last week, and I've been having a really, really fun time. Now, what's made the experience a little bit more enjoyable and honestly, a little bit easier to manage has been this guy. So, I did a video, uh, I think last week, about the um, multi-action button, the multi-function buttons that you can do on the Stream Deck. This is the Elgato Stream Deck. Um, honestly, it's probably one of the best bits of kits that I bought, and when I did my initial setup video, I said it was a luxury. Honestly, I think it's a necessity. So, what I want to do today is just quickly talk over, I think, what is my favourite button. The one button that maybe I couldn't live without if I had to take it off or didn't have that Elgato Stream Deck at my hands. Guys, let's dive into OBS and let's see what I'm talking about. I mean, that needs to be clipped just because I actually got something. So let's see what it looks like. Tell me, did I get him? Did I get him? So the button I'm talking about is actually the clip button. So this is built into the Stream Deck. This is part of the Twitch setup. And on my Stream Deck, it's this button right here. Now, what that means is on the very rare occasion, I do something that I think is epic. I can quickly hit that button. It then records. 30 seconds of my gameplay. So if it's a great sniper shot, if it's a um, something random, so in one of the clips I actually got shot in the air by, um, by one of the spaceships coming down, dropping off the enemies. What was that? Like a plane landed on my head. So all those things, all of those little things that you want to sort of capture and say, yeah, I'm amazing, or what the... That's what the clip button does. So let me show you how we put that onto the Elgato Stream Deck. So here we are in my Elgato Stream Deck interface. Now, setting up the clip function is probably one of the easiest things that you can do on your Stream Deck. So on this side, I've got all of my different options, all my different menus and submenus. And I'm looking for this one right here, which is the Twitch Tools Bar Raider, okay? Now, you might need to add this one by going to the More Actions, finding the one you want, and then hitting the Install, okay? So find the uh, the Bar Raider, Twitch, uh, Twitch Tools Bar Raider, if you've not already got that installed onto your Elgato Stream Deck. And this is the one that I want, which is Clip to Chat. So I'm going to simply drag and drop it into the box where it belongs. I'm gonna give it a title, clip. I'm gonna make sure it looks exactly the same as all of my others. There we go, nice big clip so I can see it. And then that is now done. That's as easy as it possibly can get with setting up the clip to chat function. So let me show you how this works in a real world setting. So let's have a quick chat with him and see what he's got to say. Right, beyond light, these fallen sure know how to keep us on our toes. Sure tells you that Eremis has been trying to recruit her old comrades from the former House of Devils for a while. For her to arrive in person now must mean she's growing desperate. Word is, she's brought along a trusted sergeant, Bacris, the Adamantine, and empowered her with stasis as a demonstration of the forces at her disposal. Shaw suspects that the sergeant has now remained in the Cosmodrome in order to ensure that the Devils follow through on their pledge to relocate to Europa. Locate Bakaras, the Adamantine, and scatter the Devils before they leave for Europa. Defeat Fallen in the Cosmodrome, the Divide. So we accept the mission. I'm going to grab his bounties. And let's clip it. So what that does, guys, is it creates a, a clip that goes straight into our chat window. So what we've got here 
is the clip of what we've just done. So that's exactly how easy it is to set up the clip function. It will automatically record a 30 second clip and it'll pop it straight into your chat. So what that means is you're not sat here going, chat, someone clip that for me, someone clip that for me. I've just got a double sniper headshot or something ridiculous happened. Someone, someone clip that for me. It also means that on your Twitch channel, um, it does leave all of the clips underneath. So that way, everyone can just hang out see your channel and they can check out your clips so that really is how easy it is to set up the clip to chat button on your stream deck now i'm using the elgato stream deck as i've mentioned it really was that simple drag and drop turn it on stick a name on it job done what I liked about it was the fact that it adds a bit of content to your channel. If you're not on there streaming, people have got some of it. Go back, have a look and see some of your gameplay. Whether it's funny moments, whether it's the highlights, whether it's the best bits, or like I say, it's the what happened moments. People like that. You can also then download them from Twitch. You can stick them all over your social media and let the whole world know how amazing you really are at the game you love to play. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Nick, AKA The Limey. And please, before you go any further, make sure you leave me a huge thumbs up, a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm not gonna do Nick here, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep reviving you, bud. I'm gonna keep reviving you. No! Yes! You go, Baxter!